नमस्कार मी रमेश उमाटे सशिक्षक केली संचलित मंगळुरी प्रशाला अक्कलकोट तुम्हा सर्वांच आजच्या या शंभरव्या व्हिडिओमध्ये सहर्ष सहर्ष स्वागत करतोय विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो आपण गेल्या कोविडपासून विविध विषयावर व्हिडिओ बनवत आहोत प्रामुख्याने सगळे व्हिडिओ हे विज्ञानावर आधारित आहेत तर आपलं मिशन एस एस सी बोर्ड एक्झामिनेशन दोन हजार एकवीस आपण पाहणार आहे मित्रांनो या वर्षीचा जो एक्झाम असणार आहे तो एक वेगळ्या पद्धतीचा असणार आहे कोविडमुळं तुमचा अभ्यास तेवढासा झालेला नसेल सिलॅबस सुद्धा पूर्ण संपलेला नाही आहे त्यामुळं क्वेश्चन पेपर पॅटर्न मध्ये थोडासा बदल करून तो पेपर सोपा ठेवण्याची शक्यता आहे त्या अनुषंगाने आपण त्याला नाव दिलेलं आहे मिशन एस एस सी बोर्ड एक्झामिनेशन टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी वन तर यामध्ये मोस्ट प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन फॉर एस एस सी एक्झामिनेशन टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी वन मध्ये सायन्स सेकंड विषय आहे सायन्स पार्ट टू सायन्स पार्ट फर्स्ट चे सगळ्या टॉपिक वरचे मी क्वेश्चन प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन युट्यूब वर अपलोड केलेलं आहे तुम्ही ते पाहत आहे जर पाहत नसाल तर नक्कीच पहा तर आपण सब्जेक्ट सायन्स पार्ट टू चे पहिले पाच टॉपिक वरचे प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन सुद्धा अपलोड केलेले तर याच्यानंतर जे क्वेश्चन आहेत प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन टॉपिक वाईज मी अपलोड करणार आहे सो लेट अस वी आर स्टार्ट हिअर वीच आर द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन फॉर नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन अँड ड्यू टू कोविड धिस इयर द क्वेश्चन पेपर इज सो सिम्पल अँड I always recommended that you have to read the textbook carefully. So let us, dear friends, we are moving towards which important questions in the topic number six. The name of the topic is animal classification. So let us discuss few questions which are very and very important for our next upcoming. examination point of view so the topic number 6 which is based on animal classification and uh, here little bit part is reduced so no question arises belongs to reduced part so directly the syllabus started from phylum and there are total 10 phylums and out of 10 phylums which are most important and famous question which are 99% asking for this year question paper so let us discuss one by one the question number first which phylum having special type of collar cell you know one sentence each so the answer is porifera the phylum porifera which having a special type of collar cell the second question arises observe the figure and labeling when we observing this figure the marking a and here is b we just put the names what these called this is called a is called osculum and b is ostea and here is already collar cell so this may be arises from asking for two marks very simple one and sometimes only figure is given you have to identify name of the figure so like that so next question arises cylindrical and uh, here is umbrella like structure structure of animal if that is cylindrical structure it is called as a polyp p o l y p polyp and if it is a umbrella like structure then it is called as a medusa so like this the question arises this year after then the next question that is dash dash is the largest group of phyla very and very important question and it is arthropoda arthropoda belongs to largest group of phyla and uh, second question that is second is the second question arises that is question number fifth dash dash is second largest group of phylum and i think that is called mollusca m o l l u s c a mollusca belongs to second largest group of phylum so this type of question arises probably and next we are move towards the next slide here so next slide here is again few question due to example of platy helminthus you know flat like structure you have to read the textbook question number 7 how phylum annelida locomate 
there are different ways to locomotion means move from one place to another place so how a phylum any ladder locomote after then here is one figure observe the figure and identify the name listen here name of the just animals a after then there is b this is a once again we are repeating here this is a after then b and c and these all are belongs to any ladder already they given to you you just prefer here a which is the name of the figure that is the earthworm b that is called a leech l double e c h and c is a neris n e r i e s in this way very questions so simple questions arises so you do not frighten and go just the textbook easily will get all the answer and next slide that is uh, observe the figure and uh, again identify identify the names when we are moved towards this figure when we are observing this one these all are the echinoderma germata and a is called a starfish c is b is called as a sea cucumber and third one is a sea urchin in this way we have to mention the name and identify the figure after then the question number 10 nature of animal and what are the meanings particular terms and second one is homeotherms and these belongs to chordate animals piculotherms that is called as cold blooded animals piculo means cold blooded animals and homeotherms means warm blooded animals sometimes the nature of animal is given you have to write the meaning or sometimes they are given like that warm blooded animals means what and cold blooded animals means what you have to mention if these are cold blooded animals we have to mention it is piculo thumbs or sometime question arises give example of give phylum belongs to piculo thumbs or give example belongs to homeo thumbs so like this very simple which are getting from textbook easily we are going to solve these examples here and after then the next slide the last slide from this topic and these slides or these questions are directly from our exercise very and very important questions these from exercise the first there is answer the following question by choosing correct option these are a multiple choice question which special cells are present in body of sponges which of the following animals body shows bilateral symmetry which of following animals regenerate broken parts what bat included in which class so these types of question arises and here give scientific reason and already you know very well the question paper pattern it changes from last year so question number second a there are three scientific reason out of we have to solve any two and definitely out of these five one definitely it must be arises and uh, which is simplest one that is a uh, body temperature of reptile is not constant it is very important one and second one is our body irritates if it's come in contact with jellyfish so these two questions are very and very very genius and very important part so let us uh, we are discussing the next uh, topic in the next uh, video so up to that best of luck thank you